Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks or Geeks. Today the problem which we are going to see is to find floor and ceiling in a sorted array. So uh, in this problem we will be basically given a sorted array and a value x and we have to find the ceiling and the floor. So what do we mean by ceiling? So ceiling of x is the smallest element in the array that is greater than or equal to x and floor is the greatest element smaller than or equal to x so uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to uh, understand this with an example and I'm sure that it will be more clear when we uh, do this with an example uh, so let's look at the assumption which we have to make uh, that we assume that the array is sorted in non-decreasing order which means that it will be sorted in increasing order starting from the smallest element to the biggest element and we have to basically write efficient functions to find floor and ceiling of x okay so now uh, let's look at the uh, examples to understand the problem better so give uh, if you are given this array uh, then and x is equal to 0 then the uh, floor floor is basically the greatest element which is smaller than or equal to x so uh, there is no element which is uh, smaller than or equal to x in this array so floor doesn't exist uh, seal seal is the smallest element which is greater than or equal to x so uh, that would be one because one is greater than or equal to x and it's also the uh, smallest such element so seal is equal to one similarly for the value one uh, the floor and seal both will be one because uh, remember in the definition of floor and seal we have this or equal to and or equal to here so if uh, the number is uh, number itself is present in the array so it will be the floor and the seal uh, okay so now let's look at x equal to 5 so uh, which is the largest element smaller than 5 uh, that is 2 and the uh, smallest element uh, greater than 5 that is 8 so that is 2 and 8 here now let's look at uh, the case where x is equal to 20 so the floor will be 19 uh, which is the uh, biggest element in this array and uh, since 20 is greater than all the elements so seal doesn't exist so uh, i think you will be uh, you must have been clear with the uh, with the uh, with the definition of uh, what the floor and ceiling is so uh, now we'll start with uh, discussing the, uh, the algorithms and the implementation to find the seal search functions. The floor search functions can be implemented in the same way. So let's look at the uh, ceiling search function. So the first method is the linear search. So in linear search, uh, what we'll do is that if x is smaller than or equal to the first element in the array, then we return zero. That is the index of the first element. So uh, because we are uh, here trying to find the seal, so if x is smaller than the smallest element in the array, so that smallest element is basically our seal. So we return that. So that uh, this is the uh, first condition that we check. If that is not the case, then we linearly search for an index i such that x lies between array of i and array of i plus 1. So we linearly search, so we iterate over the whole of the array and we find a i such that uh, the x is lying between uh, array of i and array of i plus 1. Okay, so uh, this is the second step. Now if we do not find any index i uh, which satisfies the condition uh, in the step 2, then we just return minus 1 saying that there is no c level label. Okay, so uh, let's see the driver function here so in the driver function uh, we have the input array then we have the size of the array then uh, we have the x the value of x equal to 3 so then we call the seal search function with the array with the uh, lower index the higher index i mean the length minus 1 here and the value of x which is to be uh, whose uh, seal, and, uh, seal and flow is to be searched and uh, index is the value at, uh, which is returned 
if it is equal to minus 1 then the ceiling doesn't exist otherwise we print the value okay so let's uh, dive into the seal search function so in seal search function as we discussed in the previous slide we have these four arguments the array int low int high and int x okay so uh, we have a index variable i here so then we check the first condition first of all that if x is smaller than or equal to the smallest element in the array that is array of low then we directly return low if this is not the case then we go on to a second step where we will linearly search for the seal value so what we are doing here is that uh, we are initializing the i with low and we iterate over the whole of the array and then we check if uh, array of i is equal to equal to x then we directly return i that we have found the element so that is the uh, seal of this function if we do not find that element then we check if this condition is true so if array of i is smaller than x and array of i plus 1 is greater than or equal to x if that is the case then we return i plus 1 so uh, because we are uh, we are finding the seal here so we return i plus 1 in the case of uh, floor uh, we would have been returning the value i uh, if uh, even after this step uh, we are not able to return any value that means that the seal doesn't exist so we return minus 1 here so this is the uh, returning statement of minus 1 so this was the uh, first method uh, which was using the linear search uh, the time complexity was uh, order of n because we are iterating over the whole array in the worst case now let's look at the better solution which is the binary search so instead of using the linear search binary search here uh, can be used here to find the index and uh, binary search will definitely reduce the time complexity to order of log n so let's see how binary search will work so we have a seal search function with the same arguments now uh, here we will be using the int low and int high actually so we do the first check that uh, if x is smaller than or equal to array of low if that is the case then we uh, simply return the value low uh, okay so after that uh, we have here another check that if x is greater than array of high then we return minus one saying that uh, uh, there is no c available so so uh, the array doesn't have any element uh, which which can which can become the seal so we return minus one so we have uh, we have covered the border cases here so now let's get into the binary search uh, the main crux of the binary search so we calculate the value of mid which is low plus high by 2 then what we do is uh, if x is same as middle element then return the mid so if the x is exactly equal to the mid then mid is the seal so we return mid otherwise what we do is here we have two conditions so if array of mid is smaller than x so array of mid that value which is at the middle of the current array if that is smaller than x then uh, the seal has to be in the uh, right half of the array so we we are going to basically uh, check first of all if uh, mid plus one is smaller than equal to high this is just a sanity check here and then we basically do a uh, check if x is smaller than or equal to array of mid plus one so uh, if that is the case then we return just mid plus one otherwise if the uh, first element of the right half is not the seal then we recursively call the uh, seal search function with the updated uh, low value as mid plus one and the high value remains same now similarly if uh, uh, if array of mid is not equal not smaller than x so it must be greater than x if that is the case uh, then we search it into the first half of the array so again we uh, do a sanity check here mid minus 1 is should be greater than or equal to low and then we check if x is greater than array of mid minus 1 if that is the case we return mid otherwise we recursively call for it uh, call it for the first half of the array 
uh, where the low value remains same the high value changes to mid minus one so uh, and that is all for this uh, for this algorithm so in total uh, we discussed two algorithms so the first one did the job in order of n time complexity the binary search one did the job in order of log n time complexity which is much faster than order of uh, n so that is all for this tutorial uh, do visit this link to uh, to find all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and to also run the code which we just discussed Thank you very much.